What's good, Skins fans? So this is actually the final day of training camp, I want to say, or the final day that media is supposed to be in there, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I know that roster cuts, final cuts, are going to happen Saturday. They have to trim the roster down to 53 Saturday at 4 o'clock. So we're going to see who makes this roster. We'll be making a few videos this week leading up to that. I, I can't wait. I, I smell in the air. The weather's just beautiful outside. Today was just an awesome day, to, beautiful weather day to play football. I can't wait. Um, unfortunately, another Eagles injury, Jalen Rager, will be missing week one. So that is huge news for the game on week one. And I said, before we play the Eagles, before these injuries, before the Brandon Brooks injury, before the um, Jason, not Jason Peters, uh, what's the guy's name? Andre Dillard, before the Dillard injury, uh, Carson Wentz is out day to day now. He has an injury, lower body injury. Now these guys are getting hurt and drama. I don't. I just don't want Eagles fans to use excuses. That's what I don't want to hear when we beat them week one. I, I have as we. I, I've had us winning this game since the schedule came out in what April, March. So I just don't want to hear the excuses. And I don't want to see injuries. I don't want to see the Eagles get all these injuries because I don't want to hear excuses. So I hope Carson's healthy for week one. I hope Deshaun Jackson is health is, is healthy for week one. I hope all these guys are healthy. I really do, because I want to be. I wanted to beat them with their full team, but it is what it is. You got to play the guys who are in front of you. Chase Young had a great day. I uh, had a sack on Dwayne Haskins. Uh, had another great play. Had the explosive hit on Adrian Peterson. That was a great play. So I, I'm excited to see Chase Young play once again. I'll read some tweets that I saw from Kyle Stackpole, beat writer for the uh, Washington Football Team. He said. Just went through my notes and I had Dwayne Haskins completing nine of his 14 passes on third down. All but one of those completions resulted in a first down. Haskins also threw a touchdown on a fourth and goal and ran for a score on third and goal. So, I mean, that's 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 Haskins losing the weight right there, man. He's being more mobile. And he was actually mobile a little bit last year. You know, he surprised us all. He ran a lot faster than what I thought he was going to run. So, him losing that weight is going to be huge for us. Uh, and then he also quoted that tweet by saying five of those were long convert com uh, conversions too, like third and eight plus in danger of having a punt. Haskins found the open man time and time again. Haskins is heating up. He's really heating up. This, this, this guy is night and day from last year and this year. He has a coach that believes in him. He's believing in himself. Most of all, he's locking in. He's in the playbook. He's focusing on his craft and focusing on his job which is to be a franchise quarterback. That's why I love it. I'm not going to get too hyped up just yet because it is practice. We're, talk, we're just talking about practice. But Haskins looks good. He looks really good. I'm, I'm, I'm confident in the guy that he's going to have a good season this year coming up. Um, and then he also goes with Kyle Stackpole also goes on to say, if I had to choose one player at each position who stood out today, here's who I got. Quarterback Dwayne Haskins, running back Antonio Gibson. So that's good news that Antonio Gibson is playing well. He had a great camp. Uh, Ron Rivera does say that he gets confused at times. I mean, he's a rookie. There's a lot of things that they're throwing at Antonio Gibson. So, you know, he's just an athlete. He's going to be all over the field playing wide receiver, running back. You know, they might even uh, line him up sometimes even, even he, like, of course, in the slot position. He'll be against a linebacker or a safety, and he's going to burn those guys. He's going to cook those guys. So I can't wait to see Antonio Gibson, the third-round uh, pick out of Memphis. I can't wait to see this guy play. Wide receiver was Cam Sims. Cam Sims stood out today, uh, according to Kyle Stackpole. I'm not surprised. Now, Cam Sims is the wild card. People are asking who's the X Factor on this roster. I would say maybe Steve Sims uh, or a low-key guy that might be able to impact this team and help us win a few more games this season. Of course, you know, I'll go with Steve Sims, Antonio Gibson. But a guy who has a fan club, he has some stands out there. Cam Sims has a following of people who really want him to make this roster and to make an impact on this team. We see the talent. The guy's six foot five, another Bama boy, can catch the ball. Sometimes he does drop the ball. He's inconsistent with that. He can jump really high. I mean, the guy looks like he can do a 360 windmill dunk because he jumps so high. And he, you, you just see the potential. But sometimes when the lights come on, he's just not that guy that we see in training camp, that we see in preseason, that we see in practice. So I really am hoping that Cam Sims gets a huge opportunity this year. I think he definitely will. Him and Haskins have great rapport and great chemistry. So Cam Sims stood out today. I'm not surprised by that. The guy, I mean, he can just jump out of the gym. He really, he, he can just jump. I mean, he can really catch and he can run routes. Not, his route running isn't the best, but it's not bad. I mean, the guy, he has the physical tools. I'll say that. Just has to stay healthy. Offensive line was Morgan Moses. Morgan Moses stood out today. That's good news. I know a lot of people, he has a, 
he has a hate club. Instead, of, Cam Sims has a fan club. Morgan Moses has a hate club, and we all know that. So Morgan Moses stood out. He played well today. That's good to hear going against a, a nasty defensive front, you know, with Chase Young, Montez Sweat, Ryan Kerrigan. Um, I heard the front four that started today. My Ionitis was not in that front four. Deron Payne was, was it was in the starting front four. Uh, Chase Young, Montez Sweat, and Jonathan Allen. So that's most likely going to be your front four. A lot of people are saying it doesn't matter who the starting four of the defensive line is going to be because guys are just going to rotate and eat anyway. Ryan Kerrigan's going to be rotation. A lot of people thought he was going to start. But, you know, it's fine. You know, he can be a situational pass rusher and teach Chase Young and, and you know, show him the ropes of being an elite pass rusher in this league. Matt Ioannidis, a lot of people thought he was going to start because he was the best defensive lineman last year with eight and a half sacks or eight sacks. He won't be starting, but it is, he, he's still going to come in and do work. We already know what Matty Ice is going to do. Uh, Deron Payne stood out, in his opinion, as a defensive end position, Chase Young. Like I said, once again, he had the nasty hit on, on Adrian Peterson and had a sack on Dwayne Hassan, so he played really well today. Chase Young showing that he is the predator. Loving that. Linebacker John Bostick stood out. Um, I heard Ruben Foster had the knee brace off today, so that's good news. I heard, But I've heard during training camp he's really been running with the twos and the threes. So it looks like Ruben Foster is not going to start. It looks like it's probably going to be Cole Holcomb, Sean Dion Hamilton, and, and uh, John Bostick will probably be your day one starters at the linebacker position. Jimmy Moreland stood out at the defensive back position, so that's good news. I heard he had a couple pass breaks, the people's corners, they call them. So I'm loving what I'm hearing from Jimmy Moreland. Ronald Darby looks good as well. Uh, he had a great camp. So Kyle Stackpole with a play-by-play -play here. Wide receiver Cam Sims seemed to help himself a lot on Sunday. He caught several passes, including a few from Dwayne Haskins. When Haskins worked with the second team wideout, Sims was by far his favorite ta target. So Cam Sims is not starting. He's not a top three receiver right now on the roster, or he could be. He could beat out Inman. Who knows? But Cam Sims has been balling. He's been really balling. Boston well, will cut his roster from 80 to 53 on Saturday, like I said before. Uh, here's some other nuggets here that I'm trying to see here. Deron Payne said that he can't wait to see Chase Young out on the field game day on game day crushing people. I can't wait. I'm hyped. I'm pretty excited. It's two weeks away, and I'm hyped. Young, Allen, Payne, and Sweat is the defensive line in the first session of 11 on 11s. Kerrigan also just wrote it, rotated in, so he will be a rotational pass rusher. It sounds like Chase Young and AP met at the goal line. Chase Young stopped him in his tracks for the tackle. Antonio Gibson just plowed through the goal line for a touchdown. Nine plays, six passes, three runs. Haskins was four of five and barely missed Logan Thomas in the end zone. Once again, Logan Thomas has been balling out, man. Logan Thomas has been balling out the tight end position. He's another surprise. Another guy that I slept on. I said on my last video, I was slumped. I was sleeping on these guys. I slept on Inman. I slept on Logan Thomas. And they got me woken up now. So Inman had a beautiful catch in the end, in the end zone. It was a nice, beautiful pass by Dwayne Haskins. Tight roped it, and it was a laser pass in the back of the end zone. Landon Collins tried to block it, but just couldn't because Dwayne had a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful throw there. Um, Zach Selby. Actually, I'm, this is Zach Selby, not another beat reporter. He said, uh, Haskins delivered a dime to Dontrell Inman in the end zone over Landon Collins. Two drives, two touchdowns for Haskins so far. Early in the first last drive, Terry caught a pass and ran into the end zone, but was down by contact. John Bossick made a play by tipping a pass with the second string guys. Jeremy Allen, I mean, uh, what's his name? Kyle Allen had Jeremy Sprinkle open, but Bossick made a leap and knocked the ball away. That's what I like to hear from John Bossick. Uh, Jimmy Moreland was all over the place from start to finish. He forced an, in, in, an incompletion and nearly picked off Haskins on the next play. Uh, Zach Selby also saw a nice blitz pickup from uh, Jerron Christian and Zach and uh, Wes Martin. The result of the play, Haskins completes a pass to Logan Thomas, drive ends in a field goal. So a good play by Dustin Hopkins. I heard Tress Wade was balling today. We already know Tress Wade's the all-pro. We already know what he's going to do. Cam Sims just made a tough catch with good coverage on a bomb pass, and then he follows that up with another pass. Good things are coming from the crimp, from the former Crimson Tide player, the Washington Crimson Tide. Chase Young just got past Jerron Christian for a sack. Christian had his head ducked, and Young worked around him to make the play. So I'll talk about that one real quick. Jerron Christian is supposed to be the starting left tackle, so that is a concern. But at the same time, you're playing against Chase Young. He, he's going to get one sack on you in practice. It is what it is. He's the predator. So I, I can't really get mad at Jerron for that. But if you have your head ducked down, you got to work on that. But Chase Young is the predator. He, he's just going to get his. He's going to get his. He's, he's going to get a sack. Uh, Greg Stroman. I haven't talked enough about Greg Stroman. Uh, I think, you know, Greg, Greg Stroman has played very, very well this camp. And he looks like a guy that will be making the roster. He did go to Virginia Tech. He is a former Hokie. Shout out to the Hokies. So I, I think he's going to make the roster. I mean, Cameron Curl's been playing well at safety. He's been making some pass breakups as well. Got a couple interceptions here and there. 
So those are some guys that will probably make the roster that a lot of people counted out. A lot of people have counted out Greg Strom because of the injuries, but he's been fighting hard. If not making the roster, then maybe the practice squad. If he does get waived, then another team might pick him up off of waivers. Um, after taking the second the first play, Haskins completed five of his next six passes. He's just scrambled in the end zone. And Morgan Moses sprinted up to, him, up to him to celebrate. So him and Morgan Moses have been getting hyped together. Zach Selby also said that Haskins was seven for 10 and had a touchdown on both drives and a touchdown. The other was by Antonio Gibson. That was the first session of 11 on 11. So Haskins has been balling, man. I, I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm just hearing nothing but good things. This was a very competitive practice because I think this was the last training camp practice, and this was big for roster spots uh, right now. I think they are doing the scrimmage, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're, they are, I think they are doing the scrimmage tomorrow at FedEx. We did have an injury scare with Jonathan Allen, but he seems to be fine. Uh, he was holding his knee, limped off the field, needed some help to get off the field. Uh, has to throw a touchdown to Trey Quinn. This is from J.P. Finley. Morgan Moses was fired up and said, good effing throw, boy. That's how you throw that. That's what I'm, I would love to hear, it, man. I love, I love, I love to hear that, man. Jaden McKissick played well today as well. Um, Kyle Allen threw a touchdown as well. So, I mean, Kyle Allen's been doing his thing, man. He's been he's been playing like a good backup. That's what we need him to do. We need Kyle Allen to be a good, 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 good backup. That's what we need from, from him. Uh, I'm loving what I'm seeing from Dwayne Hadson's Chase Young and them boys, the Bama boys up front. Deron Payne has had a heck of a camp. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any other beat writers that I can read from. You know, it, it's tough, you know, because if, if we had some normalcy, I would be able to possibly go down to training camp and see some of this stuff. But we have to go off of the word from these beat writers, you know, that are doing a great job watching the beat writers. We have to go off their word, word, from word, word for word. And try to interpret it and see what's going on. Uh, Rihanna Walker, Rhiannon Walker says Antonio Gibson instead of working out after practice, Dwayne Haskins and him worked on RPOs, and Haskins suggested suggested they do gassers after practice. Antonio Gibson says he never turns down extra work. So that, I mean, you even see you even see in the work ethic. You see in the work ethic now that uh, they, they're they're showing a video. Cam Sims, Steven Sims Jr., Antonio Gibson, Dwayne Haskins, and Darv Darvin Kidsey are doing the suicides or AKA gassers after practice. Uh, Alex Smith didn't take any snaps today. But, uh, I mean, you see, Dwayne Haskins, you got to be the first one in the building and the last one to leave. That's the cliche, but that's what you got to do when you're a leader. When you're the quarterback of this team, you're the captain of this raw, of this team, man. You're trying to get that C on your chest, and you know a lot of people are gunning for your position because he knows in the back of his mind, if we go 3-13 and or 4-12, and then there's a guy named Trevor Lawrence. There's a guy named Justin Fields. There's a guy from North Dakota State, I keep, uh, Trey Lance. There's three quarterbacks breathing down your neck. In, in next year's draft if you don't show up this year so Dwayne Hassis is taking the game serious I love to hear it first one in last one out running casters after practice doing stuff that we just didn't hear that he did last year and uh it's just awesome news so I, I can't I can't rave enough about Dwayne Hassis but we just got to see it on the field hopefully it translates from practice we talk about practice hopefully it translates from practice to the game we're talking about a game so that's what I want to hear that's what I want to see man so this is good good news Good practice. So those are my news and notes from training camp today. I will be coming up with a 53-man roster pretty soon, and I might do a video about which wide receivers will make the roster because I haven't really heard much about Isaiah Wright. I heard Isaiah Wright has, has made some good catches, and I actually like Jonathan Johnson out of Missouri. I do. I like him a lot. He reminds me of Steve Sims if you actually watched his highlights. It's very hard to find his highlights. It's easy to watch. It's easy to find Isaiah Wright's highlights. His highlights from college are all over YouTube, but the guy Jonathan Johnson is really hard to find him. And a lot of people like Darvin Kidsey, you know, Jester Wee. There's a lot of a lot of wide receivers on this roster, and the wide receiver position is open. And I've heard Trey Quinn has had a good camp. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but Trey Quinn has actually had a good camp, a productive camp, and he's a good practice player. He he's a Trey Quinn is solid. But I'll, we'll talk more about this uh, um, during. I have a live stream coming up on Tuesday, so we'll talk more about the roster and wide receivers on Tuesday, and then Tuesday is my elite channel members live stream with my man Redskins Bay. I, sorry, I didn't mean to say it. I didn't mean to say that. My guy DC Bay 72. And then shout out to my man's Kenny Man Fitness. He's another elite channel member. So we I will be going live and having those two on my channel talking skins football. Um just talking sports anything. So make sure you tune into that because we will be talking about roster moves and who we think is going to make this roster, how you know how the team's going to do this season. So make sure you guys tune into that. Make sure you guys also check out Fan to Fan Network. I'll put the link in the description. I was on the live today talking against football just for 
couple minutes. So make sure you guys uh, check them out and sub them up. I will be the team ambassador for them. So, all right, you guys, enjoy your weekend, man. I can't wait, man. Football is coming, man. It's coming. I really, I was scared for a second with, with the pandemic and everything. But it looks like we're going to have football. There was a college football game on last night. It was like Arkansas State, Central Arkansas, and some other team. And I was bored as a mug watching it. I did watch the NBA last night, too. But I did watch a little bit of football. All right, y'all. Hell, peace.